Hello viewers, this is the next part in my series of videos on Unreal Editor and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own lava zone and your own water zone. Right, let's start with the lava zone. Height 256, width 384, breadth 384. Click build, then right click the wireframe go to reset and then reset rotation and click because uh, we still left the rotation from the custom arch brush we made and then it appears here now go to your side your side viewer side fast side viewport sorry sorry for that um, and now drag it just under the map but it, it must match the floor you see like this now it sits there and now just hit substrate oh sorry <laughs> yeah my editor crashed and I had to redo this part um, go to UT tech 1 go to wall cliff brick 7 and there we go now we've got just a basic square in the floor which is not very interesting at all now go to your texture browser and now go to type in gen and then select genfluid.utx g-e-n-f-l-u-i-d dot utx open it up now we want the lava pit so we're going to go to lava how original now select select the uh, select lava here, now select it as you can see here, lava 128 and then just minim minimize it now you want to change this go to sheet, right click sheet um, make it 384 or 384 and then click build yes I'm going I'm talking in a much faster pace now so you have to keep up with me uh, Jen just just drag the wireframe just one square below the floor so that it sits right there now go to add special brush just left click it um, after prefab prefabs prefabs it now says regular brush now we don't want that we want to go to water and then click OK so you won't see anything right now but you will if you press add another time that I do that for one reason because we don't want the lava zone to be transparent will we so there we go we've got a lava pit which looks pretty awesome now add one light here and now go to your actor class browser it's next to the G now expand actor expand info expand zone info and then click lava zone now go back to your pit here right click the floor and click add lava zone now right click your light go to properties go to light color color and then select red and drag it just a bit down until it's like this dark that's just good enough you already see a difference now click build all for some reason it's still transparent we filled a bit here now we also want a light on top of the lava zone so just click the light, drag it in the side browser here, just drag it in the center, just above the lava. Right click it again, go to light color, go back to red, go to this type of red and just hit OK. And just hit build all again. As you see the walls are turning red 
well more like pink but that's the same color in my opinion I don't think pink is a color at all so now go to cylinder right click cylinder height 256 and then outer radius type 256 and here sides fill in 20 and hit build as you can see this cylinder is a lot bigger than a cube oh hold on I dragged it um, well actually I, I found it too big so turn inner radius back to 256 notice that nothing happens because inner radius has nothing to do with the outer radius at all so we have to lower the outer radius to 192 pixels as you see this matches with the sides of the cube so it is ready for action now just do so as with the lava pit drag it until it matches the floor like so go back to your active go back to your texture browser go back to UT tech 1 go to wall cliff brick 7 and subtract your brow your brush. Now go back to Gen Fluid, Lava, and select Lava. Uh, sorry for that. I know I don't mean Lava, I mean Water. Go back to Water um, and just select a nice water texture which matches your needs. I'm going to use Water 1, which is right here. Water 1. Now go to Sheet. Now, just left click the sheet, it should match up quite nicely. Like you, as you can see, it matches up with, uh, with the sides of this brush, with this shape. Now, what we have to do is drag it up until it matches the other one. Go to Add Special Brush and click Water. Now, we don't want to add an extra layer to this because if it's water, you want to see through. So, then go in the thing again, create a light, light properties, light color, and select a nice dark blue, like this one here. It's already turning blue. Now go to your text, go to the browser again, your actor, but now select water zone, which should be at the bottom. There you go. And now add a water zone to your map. Now click build all. See it's a nice water texture. Now add another light on top of it. And now do the same as I show you. Add the lava pit. Just put it in the center and give it the same type of blue. There we go. Notice that the water is not moving. You know that's not an issue. We're not going for realism in this game. So, now you know how to make your own lava pit or water. And uh, I have to say thank you for watching. And in the next video I'm going to show you some, some nice other bits.